Hi guys, it's time for In My Mailbox again, hosted by the Story Siren. And I had a huge book week this week. A lot of books from the library that I had reserved months ago, like some in December that just finally came in and apparently this was the week. So I have a whole bunch to get through, so let's just get right to it. First book I have is Dark Oracle by Elena Williams, or Alana Williams, I'm not sure exactly, I might be butchering that. But a few weeks ago, I got the sequel to this book, which was called Rogue Oracle, and I got that in on review, and I want to make sure I read the series in order, so that's why I picked this one up from the library, so I'm excited to get to that. The next one is one is by an author that you guys will get very familiar with if you keep watching these every week from me, and that's Jude Devereaux. I'm currently addicted. She has dozens and dozens of books, so I'm figuring one a week probably for the whole year. This week it's The Temptress and I already read it and I loved it. I think it's my favorite so far and it's uh, set in the Pacific Northwest and it's got cowboys and shootouts and all that sort of great stuff. So really good. Jude Devereaux. Love her. Next book I have in on review and it's one of the Pride and Prejudice and Zombies mashup books. I don't know if you've read that yet but this is a sequel called Dreadfully Ever After and it's by Steve Hockensmith. And in this book, we see Mr. Darcy and Elizabeth on their honeymoon and dealing with Mr. Darcy having been bitten by a zombie. So I'm interested to see how that all plays out. Next is one that I won from Penguin Books through a Twitter contest. So yay for that. And it's Booker T. Washington's autobiography, Up From Slavery. And I actually have not read this yet, so I'm really excited to uh, get to it. Next is, it's a big one, Tiger's Curse by Colleen Hoke, maybe? Hauk, H-O-U-C-K, however you pronounce it. And this one looks really interesting. I'm also totally loving the cover. It's beautiful. And it's about a girl who's trying to break a 300-year-old curse. Um, and it's an Indian curse, and she's kind of dealing with the mystery of that. So it seems really interesting. And this one also, if you're doing the debut author challenge, also over at the Story Siren, this one counts, so get on it. And another debut author challenge book, Timeless, by Alexandra Monaire. And I read this one already, too. It was, it was really good. Um, it's about a young girl who... Her whole world gets turned upside down and she has to move from California to New York City to live with her grandparents who are extremely rich and upper class and the Windsors. And she soon finds that time functions differently for her family. And she's kind of thrown back in time where she visits all of her relatives who lived in the same bedroom that she lived in. And of course there's a boy and soulmates and time travel and mystery and all that stuff and it ends with the very frustrating words to be continued so I'm excited to see how this continues when it finally when the sequel comes out but this is a good book and again debut author challenge and one more debut author challenge book called So Shelley by Ty Roth and this is another one that deals with death um, it's about two schoolmates whose mutual friend Shelly dies and they need to take her ashes to an island in Lake Erie to, to spread her remains essentially per her wishes. But what really kind of caught my eye is the fact that the author uses poets Keith, Shelley, Keith, Keats, Shelley, and who's the last one? And Byron as inspiration for his three characters. And it kind of takes uh, a, um, a look at modern teens through kind of a romanticism sort of filter. So I'm really interested to see how, how that works. It, it really kind of caught my eye. And again, debut author challenge. So that's three for this week. So go get those if you haven't read them yet. And this one is uh, book one of the Chaos Walking trilogy by Patrick Ness. And it's called The Knife of Never Letting Go. And I actually got this book because the prequel, called The New World, um, which is a short story, was released on my Nook for free. And I never turned on a free book. So I read it and it really caught my eye. And it's about 
um, kind of coming to a new world and what happens when when everything is is at, at its beginning stages. So really interesting sounding. So I'm going back and starting this series from the beginning. And then the last book I have is called Fall for Anything by Courtney Summers. And this one deals with a girl named Eddie whose father has committed suicide. And she's really questioning everything. Why did he do it? Um, how, like, he has a good job, a good family, lots of love, no reason to be depressed and to commit suicide. And she's kind of trying to weed through the mystery of it all and, and come to some side sort of peace with herself. And this book counts for the YA Contempts Challenge, if anyone is doing that over on their website. This one counts for that. So I'm interested in getting on it. And that's it for my books this week. That's, uh... That's eight books, so that's a whole lot of reading I gotta get to. Hope everyone else had a great book week, and we'll see you again next Sunday. Bye!